All right, so what we're gonna talk about today is going to be a numerous things, but I wanna first say that I'm using a new lens. I just got it in. It is a zoom lens, it's 11 to 18 f 2.8, and it's a ATXM. I'm not even gonna try to say the name of the company or whatever, but it's something that I said that I would use with the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. I'm using the Mark I right now, but that trio of lenses between that and the 16 millimeter Yongnu f 1.8 and 11 millimeter Yongnu f 1.8, um, the both of the all three of these lenses are pretty good and then you got the versatility of the 11 to 18 I know the number or whatever is still set I would say within the other two prime lenses but if you go outside you can use the other two prime lenses to vlog or wherever put an ND filter on it or something like that and still get that nice background blur if that's what you want but inside if you don't want to fiddle around with like I would say ND filters or something like that. This is again at f2.8. It is at this widest, I would say, aperture or wherever, and is having that constant um, f2.8 or wherever, at least for smaller zoom ins. And then maybe in the future, I will go with a 20 something zoom or wherever up to whatever as a constant um, f aperture or wherever uh, of like 2.8 to 1.4 whatever I don't want to go any higher because again I want to let in enough light or wherever to have the ability to adjust the aperture if I want to as well as having it as low as possible um, but unfortunately when you go to certain ranges or wherever they can get expensive this one was the, probably the cheapest zoom lens at this I would say constant aperture with the 11 to 18 millimeters um, and again, this is kind of like an off brand. It's not necessarily like big, like Sigma and um, Sony and, you know, anything else. But from what I've seen in the videos I've seen or wherever, again, like I've said, with all these budget cheap lenses that I recommend, unless you're doing client work and you're looking at edges and corner to corner peeking and pixel peeping and all that stuff, um, if you're doing YouTube videos like this, it's perfectly fine. There's no reason to worry about you know the cons of the stuff but again if you're doing client work or you want to do actually professional photos then of course go with like the more um, bigger brands and that kind of leads me in the segue to what I kind of want to talk about today is that there's nothing wrong with products having cons or negatives right and like I was just explaining wherever when it comes to these lenses everything that's man made like I keep saying in all my product reviews or even discussion videos everything that's man made is not perfect it's up to you to be a smart consumer and I did get this lens as well as majority of my camera equipment and stuff like that because not only did I see other people's reviews and stuff but I also saw from the professional standpoint of those reviews, as well as people who don't do content like on YouTube or post to Instagram, all this stuff, but they're in the business of using cameras and lenses and equipment and stuff. And they have been able to relieve, uh, leave reviews and pictures and examples of what they're talking about or wherever, like on sites like Amazon or wherever you can purchase that equipment. And they list out, I'm talking about paragraphs sometimes or wherever, and they list them out very um, educationally as far as charting them out, the pros listening and explaining stuff or wherever. So those people who are trying to get into the hobby or trying to understand why they're saying certain things and giving examples and stuff like that, very detailed and very uh, informational. So people can make an informed decision on their purchase. And that's how we do when we purchase certain things or wherever, we make sure that we watch reviews and we gather information or whatever before we purchase. And that leads me to saying there's so many times where I'm seeing multiple people, more so one person, but multiple people keep telling me that my the reviews, even though the re they weren't reviews, they were actually discussion videos. If they would use their brain and realize and use their smarts that I wasn't doing a review on the Beacon Studio or any of their products or even my mixture videos because everybody keeps talking about the Beacon stuff but I keep referencing in every fucking video that I did audio mixers and I talked about the pros and the cons of a lot of these audio mixers and half of them I don't even own. It was just me pulling information together from frustrations and already being in the realm of wanting to pick up an audio mixer and knowing what I wanted and looking at what was on offer, I was able to put it into a video and explain why I, I wouldn't pick up something and why I would. That's a discussion. That's not a review. And people telling me I can't talk about a product if I don't own it or I don't have it or don't have any experience. That's a fucking lie. 
because that's how you choose the product that you're going to purchase when you're looking at like i said the lenses when i was looking at this one in comparison to the sony one and in comparison to something that's very close in millimeters or wherever from sigma i weighed the pros and cons i weighed the budget i was working with i weighed okay what is what is so much better for paying more all that stuff before i purchase something and i do that by gathering information and that's all i did i gathered all the information I sat there and had a discussion video explaining why I was hesitant on picking up some stuff, why these products are potentially trash, why they're overpriced, all that stuff. But like I said, even in the Beacon Roundup thing that I did or whatever recently, people were telling me, oh, now that you have the products or whatever, yeah, you can talk about your experience. I, I, I didn't have to do that. It's just common fucking sense. I shouldn't have to sit there and purchase a product in order to weigh in on the product. Because it's called using your brain, being a, a smart consumer, making sure that wherever you're purchasing, like I said in all my videos, making sure where your money is going, you're paying and you're purchasing something based off of the information you have gathered. And that's the whole point, like I said in my previous video, of a product reviewer or just a content creator at all who's talking to you about products, even if it's not a product review and it's a discussion video, like I've been doing discussion videos on these topics about audio mixers and, and sub mixes and what people want from these kind of interfaces and stuff. And, and majority, because some of those videos have popped off into the thousands of views and a lot of people are resonating in those comments. But like I keep saying, every time I scope down into Beacon, into uh, Elgato, and I start putting these companies under my magnifying glass, and I start just talking about them separately in their own video, then I get people coming out saying, well, you don't own this product. Well, you don't own this product. Well, you can't talk about this product because you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't have any personal experience. I don't have to have personal experience in order to see somebody post something negative about their experience and all the complications and stuff like that, whether it's on my video personally, and it's all over all those videos. They have a whole bunch of people sitting there saying the negative sentiment behind either the Elgato stuff, the Beacon stuff, the Mackie stuff, or wherever sometimes it have popped up or wherever, or the frustrations of you trying to use the Rode products or wherever for streaming or wherever, even though that was before Rode started doing the submix stuff or wherever, but for I'm here, it's still janky. But again, that's something that's new and added on. So of course it's gonna take time to iron out because of software, firmware updates, all that stuff. They're behind and they're playing catch up just like Go XLR is. But all I'm saying is, is that there is nothing wrong with somebody posting a discussion video, discussion style video, informing people who are in the same boat as they are, as far as potentially picking something up. It's just like if you went to a Facebook group or something like that, because my wife does it all the time. When we were looking for a car, she was a part of the, the veteran wives group and stuff like that, and the military posted them around and stuff like that. And she was asking around, what do people recommend or wherever? And she kept asking and stuff like that. She didn't need any, ex any experience. She just said what she needed, what she was looking for. And she allowed other people's experiences to dictate and tell them what it was. And then when she came to me and she explained everything, that's, that's me. What I'm doing is what she did to me. She gathered all the information and she came and presented it to me. I gathered information and I presented it to her. I didn't need experience for that. She didn't need experience for that. I don't need experience with any of these products that I talk about in order to give you information. The reason why I'm doing it in the fucking first place is because like I keep saying, people keep on just giving the positive stuff and all you're seeing is positive YouTube videos. So when you look up these products from Beacon, Elgato and all that stuff, all you're seeing is people, again, deep throating companies, bending over, taking it from them or wherever, and just telling everybody in the community or wherever. So they're tricking you. It's false advertisement. They're tricking you into picking up these products and not being aware of glowing, terrifying issues that a lot of people experience. And the problem is, is that I made a video yesterday and this morning when I wake up, YouTube just told me that apparently somebody commented on one of my videos where on the first Beacon Studio video I did, I went and looked. It was edited and all that stuff like that, but it was posted a month ago. It never showed up for me, so I had to go and pin it. And the person was talking about how Beacon as a company banned them wherever from the Discord and blocked them from posting like on the website or social media and stuff like that because they were calling them out for lying 
about the beacon mix crate and how much they experience as far as negatives were with having the beacon mix crate obviously software progression all that stuff progression but even coming in today trying to do this or whatever and still using a beacon studio and the software and stuff i've had it crash on me twice already you have to tell people about this stuff and again if nobody's talking about it and then you try to censor me or or berate me and tell me that my opinion is i can't do it or i shouldn't be doing it or i shouldn't be a product reviewer or i don't belong in this category or something like that this is why i'm fucking in this category this is why i started doing this shit because people like this who keep commenting as well as companies keep doing this stuff and reviewers keep doing this stuff I don't I don't give a fuck about your what your opinions are or anything like that. I don't I don't care. I'm doing it for somebody out there who it's going to help. You can say all the negative stuff. I sh again, the same shit that I was saying before I even purchased the, the, the situation or whatever, the, the products and stuff is the same shit that I was saying after I got the products. So what was the point of me getting the fucking products? Oh, to be like, oh, OK, now you got them. Now I can trust your opinion. What the fuck are you talking about? This is the stupid shit that I'm talking about. And I'm not calling you a fanboy because I'm directly talking to somebody right now who's been commenting on all my fucking videos or whatever about this until I purchased it and now said, okay, now I agree with you on the cost or whatever. By the way, I purchased this product. I purchased this product. I've had the Elgato Wave XLR, but now when you put the cost together and stuff like that, it's closer to Rodecaster and stuff. But I do accept your opinion of whatever about the products needing to be lower and stuff like that based off of my experience. But you can't you can't do videos based based off of your experience if you never had your hands on. No, you you can. Yes, you fucking can. Are you fucking stupid? Use your fucking brain. Go out there and experience by gathering information and then make a smart choice and decision on your purchase. If you're not doing that, then you're not a smart consumer. You should be gathering as much information as you possibly can. And again, if you're only running into nothing but glowing reviews and stuff like that, that's a red flag. But unfortunately, some people out there are not smart enough to catch up on it nowadays because it, it, they're, they're, they're having the wool pull over their eyes because social media has become so mainstream that people feel like they have to sit there and watch content creators. And then these content creators get so big that they get blinded by a check or they get blinded by potential views or they get blinded by the money and monetary value they're gonna get after doing a video even if the company's not paying them. It's not every content creator out there, but I shouldn't even have to say that. It, you should, half the time of the things that I say, I have to double back and correct stuff or do it in editing or whatever and say it's not every content creator. It's not, that I shouldn't have to do that. It's common fucking sense. But common sense is not common because if it was, everybody would have it. But when it comes to the internet and YouTube, it's like I have to clarify and, and try to pinpoint and actually uh, authenticate for every possible situation. And obviously I can't do that. I'm only human. But sitting here and having to make videos like this and, and address comments and stuff like that and constantly, that's why I don't comment on every single on every single comment or whatever. But I see people and I know Jack came to the stream before and it's like I told him, I don't delete comments. But I've seen comments disappear. I've seen emails saying, hey, by the way, you have an unanswered comment or wherever. And I'm like, okay, cool. When was this dropped? And it's like a week ago or a couple days ago. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not seeing it in my YouTube studio app on my phone. I'm not seeing it on YouTube or wherever on my desktop. I'm not seeing it in my YouTube studio or wherever on my desktop. But then when I go to the, to the email or wherever, I can see what they comment. And then, like I said, this one was done like a month ago. And I'm just now seeing it. And it's just now being released. But I had to pin it on my phone or wherever when it finally showed up because when I went to my computer or wherever and tried to find it, I couldn't even through the email wherever that I got sent about it. And now it's kind of showing up for me. And then I'm seeing new people comment or wherever, like I said, through the email or through on my mobile, wherever on the YouTube studio, I have a little notification at the at the top. Then when I go into the app and I go into YouTube, I don't see the comment. But I can clearly read it as the cleanest day as a notification on my YouTube uh, bar or wherever when I slide down the notifications from my phone or I can see it in the email. So I don't know what's going on. But a lot of these problems and issues people are resonating with me are not getting pushed through to the comment section. And a lot of people are saying thank you or telling me their own frustrations and experiences or whatever with the products, saying that I'm right or wherever, telling me, like I said in a previous video, Squid, don't pick it up or wherever you're going to run into all these issues and stuff like that. And like I said, half of them are just not showing up. 
and I don't go into my email wherever as far as for social stuff too much. I go into the business side of my email wherever because I have it separated by category. So I got all those notifications pushed because I, I don't care for social media. And like I said, I'm getting to the point where I'm just not even going to answer comments anymore. I'm, I'm just honestly not. If you want to talk to me and chat with me or wherever and you want to respond to something that I'm saying in a video or anything like that and you want a actual response or you actually care to have a discussion or something like that, you can follow my live stream link. It's always in the description or wherever. Whenever I live stream, just show up. You don't even have to follow the channel or something if you don't want to, whatever. But don't expect me to sit here and talk nonsensically or wherever in comments or wherever about products and about discussion videos and stuff. Because I still want to do discussion videos. I've been debating on not doing them and I've made four or five videos talking about this is going to be my last discussion video because of this shit. But I realized. I'm not letting anybody stop me from being the kind of content creator I want to be. If you're looking for the cookie cutter, most popular content creator out there and product reviews, all that stuff, and you're looking for 10 more people who are just like this person over here or just like this person over here, this channel is not for you. My content is not for you. I'm not following the trends or wherever of how people do content, how they shoot content. If they're constantly looking at the camera, they're writing scripts and they're reading off a prompter. Like I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm doing what keeps me authentic to myself. The only time that you probably won't see me really be me is in a pr actual product review when I'm trying to educate people because I know some people don't really care for the fucking cussing and, and, and the, the profanity, whatever. But when it's a video like this, I've decided just to be my fucking self. You can call me crazy. I am crazy. I've been locked up in, in, in a psych ward. You know what I'm saying? I, there was a reason why I was kicked out of the military. There's a reason why I'm not allowed to really interact with humans and stuff. It's because of what y'all are doing pretty much in these comment sections, being stupid. Use your fucking brain, use common sense. People do not have to own a product in order to make an informed decision on their purchase, nor do they have to own a product and have an experience in order to tell somebody else about the experiences of others. It's not a, oh, I heard from a friend of a friend. It's literally, I could pull up on my phone and show you where these negative comments are coming from. I can pull the information. You can do the same. You can repeat the process. So it's not a, oh, I heard from a friend of a friend. You can look up these reviews on multiple websites if you just do your research, but most people won't. They expect me to do it for them. It's called self-education. There's a reason why you did research papers throughout school and throughout college. There's a reason why we have, I keep saying this, a, a brain that makes us the highest form of intelligence on this planet. But sometimes with people being like this, I wonder if we actually are. And I know I have a unique way of thinking and my perspective might be different than others. If, that is, if that's what it is, that's what it is. But don't sit here and tell me what I can and cannot do. I run the channel the way I want to. If you don't like the way I'm running stuff, stop commenting, stop watching the videos and fucking go somewhere else. Go to all the other people who are going to bend over and do exactly how you want the content to be done. Or again, make your own fucking channel. Make your own content the way you want to make content. If nobody's doing it the way you want it, but don't sit here and come to somebody else's channel and sit here and, and put these comments or wherever like, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You should only do content this way. You should only do content that way. You don't belong in this category. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Oh, you now you actually have experience. Okay, now I, I respect your opinion. Stuff like, like what? I'm not catering to you or my audience or whatever. I put out content. If somebody likes it, they stay around. I'm not dictating how I live my life and breathe and how I do structured content and videos and stream and what I'm doing, wherever. I'm just sharing my life with people and my experiences with people, how I gather knowledge and stuff like that and just putting it out there. If somebody latches onto it and decides to stay, that's fine. If they decide to watch and just go or wherever at a certain point in time, that's fine. If everybody on my channel right now unsubscribes, that's fine. This isn't a hobby. I'm not trying to turn it into a a multi-million dollar or thousand dollar business or something like that. I'm doing it because I have nothing else to do. It's a hobby. I can't do anything else. I'm 100% disabled. I can't work. Don't tell me what the fucking to do and don't tell me what the way I'm doing stuff is wrong because it's not. That's just factually incorrect. And people keep telling me it's just my it's not just my opinion because my opinion is that the sky is blue. Go outside and look. Is the sky blue? Potentially, yeah. And even when it sunsets and you see all the strange like reddish and orange color, all that stuff, wherever, that's because of the pollution in the air and the way the light is reflecting off the atmosphere. 
the sky is blue because of the molecules and i'm not even go in depth because i'm probably blowing somebody's brain right now i'm seeing the smoke from your ears with that being said y'all take care have a squintastic day god bless you and yours another ret down out of the way i'll catch you guys in the next one